All right, guys, we are at uh, Kyotoshi Cafe. And I have to say, uh, I'm doing a review of this nice cafe here because it's quite unique in the sense that not only is it Instagram cute, the owner here has actually went through the trouble of actually making it look almost like Japan. Like, look at the roofing, the tiling. And she went into the trouble of doing all these lanterns. She set up like a fake little uh, Kyoto kind of bus station thing here where you can take a picture. You can also take a picture here um, with this huge photo wall, which is uh, the Fujiyama mountain, I suppose. It's not Kyoto here now anymore, but it's Fujiyama. That is cute. Oh look, Charlie is here with our donuts and with our coffee. And um, there's even like a fake, uh, very cute buffet, <laughs> Kyodoshi Cafe. So this is like a, a vending machine that is very typical of Japan. You'll see a lot of these when you're in Japan. Uh, of course, if you actually had to transfer one of these heavy things from Japan, it cost a lot of money, but she did a very good job making it look the part. We actually took the liberty of actually parking right in front of the coffee shop. Let's go sit inside. And uh, wow, look at this. She even made her own private kind of zebra, pedestrian zebra. And you can take a photo with the traffic lights here. And you got these very cute kind of uh, stop signs. And <laughs> like the, I like this. This is like the, also very typical of Japan. These are like the recycling recycling bins because you really like separate everything in Japan they're quite uh, yeah a diamond about recycling over there um, so yeah people are like hanging out here and taking lots of photos as you can see it's very cute now let me show you about a little bit inside so big windows and uh, I think everything's got a bit of a, like a Christmas theme right now so when you come in, this is where you order your food. They have like a Christmas promotion going on with a lot of Christmas themed kind of donuts. There you go, Christmas donuts. And uh, yeah, this is their brand. They sell you, you can do takeaway in these nice boxes. So they have like the roofing and the lettering, just like in Japan, it's very cute. Um, I like this particularly. This is uh, very reminiscent of the, the actual Kyoto where everything, if you go to, ever been to Kyoto, everything is, it looks like, it's like you're going back 200, 300 years in history. Um, apart from the Christmas decoration, actually looks very, things look very, very original, I have to say, like as good as it gets in terms of the design architecture. Let's take a step here. So look, they have a nice little tree in here. And uh, you can go in here. This is where the kitchen is. And here it's like a little bit of elevated space. So you have a feel, you feel like a little bit like you're sitting on a tatami mat in a real Japanese restaurant. Yay, so this is where we moved to finally. Charlie Berry got us our drinks and our donuts. This, what is this? This is a matcha almond. This is a lemon glaze. A lemon donut. I've never seen a lemon donut before. And this is a. This is my orange americano. Orange americano. I swear I've never had orange mixed with americano. But now I know there is a alternative to drinking milk. And I heard soy milk is also not very good for me. So this is very good. The last order is six fifteen. All right, that's it, that's all folks. Lemon donut and orange Americano. I'm gonna take some of these donuts home as well. I'm gonna drive back to Bangkok. That's it, that's all. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you come here. Even if you're just near Bangkok, it's an hour drive up in Ayutthaya. The Kyotoshi Cafe. Look, you can have a look at a cute plum tree there. Is it a plum? No, it's a peach tree. Say, why is it that in Thailand they don't have what? my favorite? They don't have lemon cake. No, they don't have the cinnamon. I'm pretty sure they have cinnamon in Japan.